Hello everybody. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like raining outside. We're having a storms on and off all day in uh, Southwest Florida. So, and also here to see St. Patrick's Day Christmas tree. It's fake, you know, it's not, obviously not real. We keep it up all year and do it up for each holiday. Um, basically, I wanted to talk about the movie I saw yesterday. Dune, Dune 2. I don't know if it had like a name, but it's a guy called Dune 2. It, one thing um, the Dune inspired was Star Wars. So like the sandworms, spice, stuff like that. Even the, the whole story of how, you know, the bad guy that kind of looked like that bald white guy with the black robes, who was the bad guy, it was uh, the father of the main character's mother. So in a sense, it takes on the Luke, I am your father, you know, the evil Sith father, you know, that whole thing is going on in the movie. And I thought that was pretty cool, actually, that um, they had that as well going on in the movie. Um, and from what I hear, and, you know, this is obviously going to be spoilers a little bit, maybe not heavily, but um, I think my first one wasn't too bad with the spoilers. I was just going to give my take on the film and stuff and what I thought, the length of it and whatnot. But this was supposed to be book two, I think. And the first movie was supposed to be book one. So book three, I hear it doesn't go well for the main character, the Charlemagne character. Um, I, I hear he's not like Luke Skywalker and doesn't take the right path. So I'm guessing he becomes kind of a dictator. I mean, the whole way he, you know, the Zendaya character who he was in love with, and then he totally said, you know what, I love you, but I'm going to marry the queen and become the emperor of the planet. And I'm going to say, I don't need you anymore, but I do love you forever and whatever he said to her and then right after that he, he, he basically took the hands uh, the queen's hand in marriage which was really messed up I mean you could see and one thing that I was um that was brought to my attention by a podcast I was listening to was that was this his plan all along to go evil and emperor-ish and take over and not be a good guy? Or was he, when, was he, when he was saying, I'm not going to the South, I'm not gonna, you know, do that. Was his plan all along to do that and then drink that, like, worm juice or whatever? I don't know, I mean, it just, it seems to me like maybe, was he always bad? I mean, his mother was doing some weird stuff with him in the first one. Uh, teaching him how to use some kind of a power or something. Or was that all, like, premeditated? Did he plan this all ahead? Um, and that he was just looking for a means to do it, a way to do it? Um, it seems like that might have been the case in, in the movie. And... Um, I don't know the books. I want to buy the books. I found all th the three that uh, I guess would be the first three movies. I think more were made, but that's what the movies are going to be based on. The three. And I hear that, from what I hear, the third movie is already being written by the director. But yeah, it seems like, it seems like um, something I want to read eventually. Uh, the books are $16, but even used, they're not that much cheaper if you get the box set with the box and everything. So I don't know. Uh, I might have to wait till next month to buy them. It's like I'm in no hurry. I mean, the, the new movie doesn't come out for a while, and I'm reading a, a book called Mindfulness at the moment. So, you know, I'm not in any, you know, hurry to, to read the books, but um, it... It just I'm just thinking about things in the movie that, that made me wonder. And also, I didn't realize the bad guy that he fought in the end, the 
Um, I, for, I forget the guy's name. Um, Butler. Something Butler. He's Bucky, the blonde haired pilot from Masters of the Air. And he's also the guy that played in the new um, Elvis movie. He played Elvis. And I hear, like Johnny Depp, how he now basically every movie he's ever in since um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, he does the pirate voice, the, 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 the Jack Sparrow voice. I hear now in every role you hear a little bit of the Elvis in in this actor, in Butler. Um, I'll have to notice it if I see it in... in um, Masters of the Air. See if it's in there. Um, so we will see with how how if that holds to be true, you know. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I I still think uh, a little long. Um, a lot of people uh, say it blew by. Some people say it didn't feel like an almost three-hour movie. I. I think it felt like one. When I watch a movie, especially a long one, like I try to piece it together like this is the beginning, I feel like this has to be the middle, and like this is probably close to the end. Like, and I, I you could, if you do it that way, it doesn't seem as long to me anyway. Um, otherwise, it's gonna feel like a slog. Like, oh my god, it's taking so long. And I have, um, in the past, I've had a pile and idle cyst. If you don't know what that is, Google it. I'm not going to explain it. But it makes sitting down for too long hurt. And it went away. I had surgery on it and in a doctor's office. And it went away. But it, I hear it's a um, thing that comes back often. And it's come back. And I really don't want to go to the doctor. I'm, like, putting it off. So whenever I go to the movies, the longer the movie is, the more I feel it. It's harder to sit down for long periods of time. I almost feel like at the end of the movie, standing up or something in the aisle to alleviate the um, the pain. So to me, maybe it felt longer because of that. You know, maybe it it wouldn't have felt as long if I didn't feel that pain with sitting down. But um, I guess when it gets to the point where I can't go to the movies anymore, or I can't sit down at a baseball game anymore. Or I can't go to a show and sit down for, for a long time. I guess when it gets to that point, I will do something about it. I will definitely do something then. But, um, so yeah, it, it, the length felt to me a little long. But it was good. It was really, really good. It was epic. I hear it's bringing in people that normally wouldn't go see a sci-fi film or going to see this movie. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna bring in a, a a lot of people. I think next weekend it's gonna be telling to see how it does in week two, weekend two. Um, if it does really good, this movie is definitely gonna have some serious legs. Um, I went to a Tuesday show, and it was pretty packed. I mean, there were uh, only two rows, like the one right next to me and the one above me, that wasn't totally filled. But the it, the whole theater was it was a pretty good crowd. I would say close to 30 people or about that and for a theater that wasn't it wasn't the biggest theater in the in the place but it wasn't the smallest theater either so it's pretty i mean they got in a bunch of theaters too so i mean it's doing good it's it's, it's gonna put up um similar numbers maybe not quite that level but it's gonna put up similar numbers to uh barbie harmer or Barbie and Oppenheimer. So, and I saw Oppenheimer, but I, I waited till Barbie came out on streaming. And I had bought it for my dad because my dad really wanted to see it in the movies. So I was like, okay, I feel bad that I didn't see the movies with him, but I bought Barbie for him. And we, we saw it, it was really entertaining. I mean, it was fun. I mean, I wouldn't say it deserved like top box office of the year or anything, but it, it definitely was fun. And I could see why people liked it and why it did so good. It was just like a, 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 a nostalgic if you're a girl or even if you're a boy. Because I was a boy that had three sisters and I was always playing with our Barbies. So um, 
So it, it was nostalgic, uh, definitely, and and just a popcorn flick. And um, but this movie, um, Dune, I, I I think this is gonna be up for best picture. I think it's gonna be up for cinematography, the score, um, a lot of things, wardrobe, what have you. I think it's gonna be up for a lot of awards, and I is I hope it wins. Now, because it came out in twenty twenty. Four, it's not going to be in this Oscars, I don't think. I think it's going to be in 2025's Oscars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, unless I'm mistaken on that. But I think it's 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 usually, if a movie comes out, say, in the end of 2024, it's it doesn't get into the next Oscars. So I think this is going to be next year's Oscars, not this year's. People, are I think, are mistaking that. And what could happen, ultimately, unless they re-release it or something in, in the theater around Christmas or something, um, which I'm sure they will, um, if they're smart, uh, it's going to lose fervor and people are going to forget about it and maybe it won't won't get that push for the best picture. Like, I, I mean, it'll be nominated, but maybe it won't like win, which I honestly think it could. I mean, it, it's like kind of like an art house sci-fi film. It's it's not your typical sci-fi film. It's not like, like, it's not like Alien. It's not like, it's not like, um, like Blade Runner or something or Terminator. It's 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 got layers to it. It's 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 a beautifully beautifully made film, and you could clearly see it's not just a popcorn flick. It's more than a popcorn flick, and um. I love the fact that it's bringing in people that normally wouldn't watch sci-fi and just because of the epicness of it and because of the word of mouth and stuff and people are just like really enjoying that aspect of it so I um, definitely like that definitely definitely enjoy that that aspect of it and um, hope, hopefully uh, if you guys haven't gotten to see it yet I would recommend it um, definitely worth a watch. Um, what I would recommend, because I forgot a lot of the first one, and I wish I would have done this. If you can, watch the first one. Watch the first, um, you know, the one that came right before this. Um, I think it was a couple years ago. Um, I would either rent it, or it's on Max. HBO Max, it's on Max. Um, I, we, I, my family has Max, so uh, me and my dad are going to sit down and watch it now that we've seen the the first one, or you could do that. You could watch it, and then watch the first one when you get back, or do both. You know, or either or. Um, I think the first one wasn't quite as long. It was long, but it wasn't like quite as long. So, but a lot of a lot of people would say that, and I would agree that the second one is better. Just have a little more character building, and um, it's just more epic. Uh, a lot more battles and stuff. So. Really, really good. Re really awesome. Just awesome movie that I would totally recommend. So, um, oh, I'm going to give you one last shot of the weather. You can see the clouds up there. We're getting some major storms here. And may the force be with you guys.